Black Spider, also known as Eric Needham, Johnny LaMonica, and Derek Coe. Black Spider has been affiliated with Suicide Squad and the Secret Society of Supervillains. His abilities include Master Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat, Martial Artist, Master Assassin, Expert Marksman, and Expert Acrobat. Eric Needham is a small-time crook addicted to heroin. Eric was first sentenced to prison after mugging and nearly killing an elderly woman, but as a minor, he was out in three years. Over the next two years, Eric married his friend Linda Morell and they had a son, Michael. Desperate for money to buy more drugs, he robs a liquor store. He kills the owner, who turns out to be his father. After being arrested, he kicks the habit out of remorse and begins a war on the drug trade. Donning a costume, he becomes a self-styled vigilante and begins killing those suspected of dealing drugs. This brings him into conflict with Batman. Needham believes that the two should be allies as he sees a common purpose in their war against criminals. His murderous methods, however, continually put him at odds with the Dark Knight. Needham's paraphernalia and missions as the Black Spider were bankrolled by a man who is secretly involved with narcotics and wants to take out the competition. Despite his professed desire to fight criminals, the Black Spider occasionally allies himself with costumed criminals. Apparently, Black Spider's goal in this is to seek revenge against Batman. Or at least, this is how he attempted to justify his actions in his own mind. Needham also faced King Faraday and Nightshade. During his war, Needham's wife and son are killed by a drug lord who discovers the Black Spider's identity. In a rage, the spider prepares for one final assault. After being shot multiple times, Needham invades the drug lord's headquarters and detonates explosives strapped to his back, killing the drug dealers in the process. Eric Needham later turns up, mysteriously resurrected, and dating Lita Hall. No explanation was ever given for his resurrection. Whatever the case, Needham's survival has since been confirmed, and he has his vigilante missions as Black Spider. He was later seen as an ally of Deadshot, Monocle, and Merlin. He is later a member of the Society. He was also one of the criminals sent to retrieve the Get Out of Hell free card from the Secret Six. Eric later appears as a member of the Suicide Squad, though he resents being forced to work with criminals despite being one himself. Despite his holier-than-thou attitude towards much of the team, he does not view himself as a hero, just as a man who kills criminals, even willing to smother them in their hospital beds. He is also slightly overconfident of his abilities, getting himself injured multiple times while assuming he could easily defeat several armed opponents. Amanda Waller eventually offers him an opportunity to quit the team, stating that he is not a monster like the others. Eric declines, stating that he needs the team after losing his family. However, this turns out to be a ploy, as Needham was actually a double agent working for Regulus of the terrorist group Basilisk. A double of Black Spider had accompanied the team to Regulus's hideout, only to be shot by Deadshot, who realized it wasn't the true Spider because he would have dodged the bullet. The real Black Spider had invaded Amanda Waller's grandmother's home in order to kill both of them. However, he underestimates the cunning of both the senior Waller and the younger Waller and is defeated. He was then locked away in maximum security at Belle Reve. Professional hitman Johnny LaMonica takes the name Black Spider when he is sent to kill the crime lord Black Mask. He is thwarted by Batman and sent to prison. He sustains injuries during this incident that leaves his face a disfigured web of scars, giving his choice of code name an ironic touch. He is later killed by Detective Crispus Allen during a gang shooting. Black Spider had opened fire on Detective Renee Montoya, preparing to kill her, when Allen unloaded his magazine on the criminal. Jim Corrigan sold the bullet that killed Black Spider on the black market. A third Black Spider, a.k.a. Derek Coe, appears shortly after as a member of the Society. Other Society members reported that he was presumed dead. He apparently bought his villain franchise from the calculator, 
who assigns him to help torture Savant into revealing the identity of Oracle. When Oracle sends in her task force, the Birds of Prey, to rescue Savant, Savant throws Ko out a window, nearly killing him. Black Canary speculates that he may be a metahuman, allowing him to survive the fall. He was also seen in Gotham, fighting and losing to Manhunter. Ko later resurfaces as a member of the new Injustice League. Later, Black Spider was a member of the group of assassins known as the Council of Spiders. Black Spider came into conflict with Red Robin, but was defeated. Later on, he was one of the many criminals that attempted to kill Batman for Two-Face's bounty. He now has two cybernetic claws on his back and utilizes a machine gun. Batman defeats him and cuts these arms off with a chainsaw.